Thank you for tuning in to yet another National Crokinole Association matchup. This is the semifinals of the 2024 Ontario Singles Crokinole Championships, which took place in Elmira, Ontario on May the 4th, 2024. Isn't that odd that the 2024 championships took place in 2024? Fantastic matchup coming at you from on your right, Andrew Hutch Daddy Hutchinson. On your left, Connor Conman Ryman. Two good friends, two great combatants. Hutch got off to a good start, draining that open 20. Connor missed his open 20. Now we've got play on the outside of the house. Great opportunity for Hutch to have some board control. Opts not to get the takeout, leaves himself hidden behind the peg. That right there, I consider a pro move. By not knocking Connor's disc off the first time around, he was able to keep play on the outside, force Connor to peel twice instead of once, which I believe to be a fantastic strategy. Let's see how it works out for him here. Drains the 20 going up. Two 20s to zero. He is against the hammer, so Ryman is absolutely still in this match. He just needs to wait for a mistake out of Hutchinson. And there it is. Will Ryman be able to take advantage of this? It's pretty close to the hole. He needs the off and the 20. Oh, just a titch off. That was so close. Opportunity squandered. Beautiful takeout. He wanted to get that off and get himself away. Got himself back there, kind of against a post. Not much Ryman could do. He gets the takeout. He's hoping for a better opportunity after this shot. Hutchinson secures the takeout. Connor tried to make something out of nothing there, trying to use a couple of pegs to uh, not that round up. Unsuccessful. Hutchinson goes up two points to zero in this race to nine. See a great shot by Hutchinson there. Board control. That was the name of the game in that round. Connor says, I'll show you board control. There's an open 20. Oh. Hutchinson lips out, but he's in a decent spot to cause some trouble for Ryman. But Ryman makes me eat my words, make short work of that. Opportunity here for Hutchinson. Oh, that was close. So close to dropping. Heavy hanger for Ryman. See what he's able to do with this. Absolutely drains it. It's Ryman's turn to go up two 20s to nothing. Hutch answers back. Two to one. Oh, a mistake out of Ryman. Comes up a little bit short. Is he able to convert? Nice. Off and the 20. Nodding things up. Two 20s each. Ryman taking a, taking a couple seconds to settle himself down here. He hasn't quite been his usual self up till this point in the match. Ooh! It did a little pirouette. Hutchinson caught reaching. Ryman makes him pay for that uh, slight mistake. I don't know if you call that a mistake, just a little twirly bird. Ryman piling it on, goes up six to three in the 20 cup. Inconsequential shots there at the end. Nodding this match up two points each. These two fighting it out for a seat at the finals table. The other semifinal matchup is between Justin Slater and Josh Carfiello, taking place right behind Hutchinson. Hutchinson comes up short. Ryman makes him pay for that mistake. Hutchinson adjust, gets back in the groove, draining that open 20. Lips out, tough one. One a little bit short, that one a little bit too heavy on the strength. Ryman makes him pay again. You saw that there's a little uh, blip as, as Ryman was setting his disc down. And uh, some people might look at that and say it was a shot. I, I don't think so. Hutchinson didn't think so. He was still in the process of setting his disc down. That's where the, uh, it's one of the awesome things about this incredible disc sport 
is the truly friendly competition between combatants here. Players agreed, did what made sense, and got back to playing the greatest game on earth. I'm sure there's a keyboard warrior out there in Mama's Basement's going to comment on that, but uh, we're not going to worry too much about them now, are we? <laughs> Players back to their open 20 ways. I'm going to have to call a players meeting before the next tournament and uh, talk about just how difficult commentary is when it's nothing but a 20s race. <laughs> Garrett Tracy has stepped up and done a fair bit of uh, commentary in these matches, but there's been a couple he said to me, he goes, Dad, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know how to fill the air. You're better at running your mouth than I am, so will you take on these matches that are, uh, <laughs> that are 20s races? I don't know if I should take that as a compliment, but I think I will. Back to the action here. They did get away from that 20s race. Much more entertaining. Ryman up in the in the race, so quite content to peel outside. Hutchinson puts some pressure on him. Ryman immune to the pressure. Shoots Hogan's alley, leaving Hutchinson with not much he can do. He had to go for something fancy there. Ryman up six to two in this race to nine. Hutchinson unfazed starts with an open 20. Ryman answers back. See in the background there, we're proudly displaying the NCA banner, the National Crokinole Association. This is the final stop on the tour of the 2023-2024 season. As we see Ryman come up a little bit short, leaving Hutchinson a fantastic opportunity to take a lead. Here he secures that takeout 20, up four to two in the 20 count. Still against the hammer, but he's in good position here. Ryman lips out. Let's see if Hutch, what's he gonna go for here? That is not what he wanted. I'm pretty sure he wanted the off and the roll away. He's still not in a terrible position, but he's going to have to... He's going to... Well, he's up 220, so it's not... He's still in good shape, but there he goes. Nice pullback. And with that other black disc in the road, Ryman forced to go to the outside. Also forced to peel. Tricky spot. Hutchinson chooses to take this from the outside. Doesn't get the off, but it doesn't matter. He kept playing on the outside. Passing. Ryman with two shots left. Yeah, he's out of it now. Inconsequential shot up Hogan's Alley. Hutchinson comes back, making this match six to four. Great board control displayed by Hutchinson there. Ryman comes up a little bit short, but he measures it up. We'll see if Hutchinson's able to do a drop back off of this one. And he is. He doesn't get the off, but that may not be terrible. Forces Ryman to shoot around his own disc. Hutchinson likely going to be gunning for a double here. I think, he I think that's what he was going for. He just missed that second disc, but he's still not in bad shape. Oh, wow. What a push. Fantastic attempt at the follow through double, uh, follow through 20, sorry. I was thinking about his follow through shot and I was also thinking about Hutchinson needing to go after a double here. Misses it again, that uh, center hole just caught the disc a little bit, caused a little uh, flipperoo there. Let's see what Ryman's gonna go for, and he goes for another follow through 20, just off, just barely off. Great board control. Ryman does have an opportunity here to get the bounce back off the peg. Oh, oh, oh and he drains it. Oh, that was a, that changed the water on the beans right there. Hutchinson still with hammer. See if Ryman goes offense or defense. My guess is, yeah, I was going to say offense, but I was going to say it wrong. Fantastic defensive shot, leaving that disc snugged up nicely behind the post. 
Do you hear that? Red herring? I called it a disc. You should be proud of me. Nice off, although he's left Ryman. A good opportunity for a carve in here. Oh, there was a lot of heat on that. Maybe the angle wasn't there for him to go directly into the 20. Maybe he was intentionally trying to utilize a peg. Also, Red Hair, are you okay with me calling them pegs or posts? Do you have a strong preference there? If you want to comment down below, let me know if that's being scrutinized as well. <laughs> if you followed any of our social media, you know that I take a bit of a beating for calling them buttons. It's just a word that I trip over a lot less doing videos than discs. Back to the action here. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hutchinson's making has made this a little more difficult on himself than he needed to. He needs to get one off and demote the other one, or he needs an off and a 20 in order to secure the two points here. Hutch taking a little extra time here. What's he going to go for? Let's see. Big decision. Oh. Yep, looks like he was going for that drop back 20. Just a little bit off. He was trying to do exactly what you see him do right here. Although he, he needed the off as well. I shouldn't say exactly what he... Yeah. Fantastic shot by Ryman. 7-5 in favor of Ryman in this race to nine. Hutchinson with his back to the wall. Ryman a little bit off in his open 20 offerings in this match. Hutchinson up a 20. Board control going to be very important at this point. As you have seen, you leave Ryman any kind of an opportunity at all, and he is inclined to convert on it. Speaking of, I think he was going for a roll in 20 there. Not quite able to secure it. Hutch likely just going for a hit and stick. Grimaces a bit, but that's not a bad position. He's on the right side of the hole. Oh. Oh. That stings. Nice little roll by Hutchinson there. If he had hit and sta stuck, hit and stuck, hit and sticked, if he had hit and stayed right where that disc was, he would have given Ryman a nice carving opportunity. Be by pushing it a little bit over toward uh, and being in front of Ryman, he took that away, but Ryman created a different opportunity. Nice hide here. Might look like there's a lot of discs showing, but that's uh, a tough shot. Ah, your reward for almost getting it is setting your opponent up for a takeout 20. But he had to go for it at that point. Hutchinson very much in control. Three 20s to zero. Inconsequential at this point. Some just a couple of practice shots for the opponent to get ready, opponents to get ready for a final battle. This knots them up seven points each in their race to nine. Unless they tie this round, we will see a victor by the end of the next round. Ryman first to act. Drains that 20, putting pressure on Hutchinson. Hutchinson levels the 20 cup. Just lips out. Not only did he not get the 20, he has left Hutchinson a pretty good opportunity here. I don't know if the off is there, but there should be a 20 for him. Oh, he gets both. What a great shot. Hutch is clutch. Fantastic shot. Going up three 20s to two. Ryman levels it up, but he's on the wrong side of this 20s race. Knowing how important this is, Hutchinson taking extra time 
Settle his nerves, settle things down. Big shot here, drains the 20. Putting a lot of pressure on Ryman. All Ryman can do is keep making his 20s, wait for a mistake out of Andrew Hutchinson. Will he provide it? Oh, that was a mistake, but it was a pretty good mistake. He's gone long. Now Ryman taking an extra second. Take a drink of water. We assume that's water. Great shot, great push. If Hutchinson can get the off 20, that will all but secure the win. I don't know, quick maths. Nice, off and the 20. All Hutchinson needs to secure this win and a place at the finals table is a valid shot. Sounds easy until you absolutely have to do it. Hutch is clutch, look at that. What a fantastic battle. Andrew Hutchinson moving on to the finals of the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championship. Great matchup, hope you've enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Comment, tell us what you think. And most importantly, make it a great day.